This example right here, my friends, is the headphone equivalent of upsizing. For literally an extra $10, you get to move up from the regular Edifier WA20MB to the WA20MB+. Plus. Now, unlike a Big Mac with extra meat patties and fixings and all that, the Plus hasn't physically gotten any bigger. And I'm quite sure you can't tell which is which right now, right? But 10 bucks does bag you a couple of extra features, which we'll look at more in-depthly in a second. Now, I know I call this video a comparison, but really TLDR, these two are so identical. You could watch my review of the regular WA20NB. Don't worry, I'll wait right here as a freeze frame. And we can just chat about literally the two, three new features on the new one. Easy peasy. This would be like the fastest, easiest review ever. But of course, this is gear up where there's such a thing called due diligence. And also because I like to hear myself talk. Anyways, let's do this. <laughs> The WA20MB retails for $80 and it comes in five different colorways. Bluetooth has been upgraded to 5.2 from 5.0, which in this case means we now get LDAC and high res support on top of SBC. There's no aptX if that's what you're looking for. Doing all the grunt work are 40 millimeter dynamic drivers in here. The weight is a really light combined 221 grams, really comfortable, including uh, with the soft padding and all that. It's really nice on your head. Battery life during my time of testing is around 30 hours with SBC or 21 hours with LDAC. And both of these cases, I have them at 65% volume and ANC on. Gaming latency is dependent on whether you have LDAC on or not. With LDAC, delay is a monster, 340 milliseconds, even with gaming mode on. Turning LDAC off is the way to go, guys, which nets an average of 115 milliseconds. It's not the fastest, but still much better. There is a slight change in the button membranes as well, so listen to this. Okay, and that's the new one, and here's the old one. Yeah, it has a positive click, more quality feel to it compared to the standard one. Even though the old one was still good, this improves on it a little bit better. Uh, what you don't get, there's no multi-point Bluetooth connection, no Google Fast Pair or wear detection. Uh, in the easy to use app, you'll now see a new screen with four audio presets, but sadly, there's no customizable EQ in sight. Also new is over in settings where you see a couple of LDAC bitrate options when that is activated. You know, there are some songs that we've listened to as kids or when we we're young adults or something, but never really paid attention to until we're a little bit older. Like this one, Ventura Highway by America. I'm like, I've heard these guys before. I've heard this song before, but it's only in the past couple of weeks I've really started to really appreciate it. It sounds amazing. It's a lot of fun to listen to. You should check it out. But anyways, we're here doing the Bluetooth range test. That's what we're here for, dang it. Um, the Plus is on my head and the phone, the, the music is playing on my phone, the OnePlus 11. So we're gonna walk around the back of my house. Pardon me if I'm sounding winded. I've done like three takes of this running around. You know how this thing works and I'm exhausted. So uh, there's the phone at the end of my deck, uh, about 25 feet and my guess well, not my guess. We've done this before, three takes in a, in a row. We're gonna have a signal loss right here. <laughs> 36 feet away, 37. Um, and I'm gonna keep walking to the end of the road here to see if we get a disconnect. I know we won't because we did this three times in a row. Uh, but I'm gonna have to walk down to, like right in the middle of the road during rush hour, uh, just to prove a point, but I'm not gonna do that. At this point, there is a house between us and the headphones and it's not intelligible the song can be heard so we'll consider that a disconnect but you can see these how they fit on my head they're so light guys i've mentioned this with the older model and these are no different oh love wearing these and they're pretty darn secure granted i have a hat on my head and also glasses to keep things a little bit tighter maybe but check this out it, it doesn't wobble um, very secure and it's so light that I don't feel it like weighing down on my earlobes so if you take these on light run light runs perfectly fine with a hat of course <laughs> um, I've tried this without my hat doing the head shake thing the Q35s Q30 sound cores are heavier obviously and those things and they have a thinner band too and they just come right off these I'm not sure what is this on the ground right here I'm not sure let me try to show you that can you see that the little spider web thingy it's like they're collecting this happened overnight there are spiders that build little let's go closer to this one see that 
They're collecting water. That's really cool. It's all over my yard. Here's a big one. Just for fun. It's really cool, isn't it? Yeah, everywhere. Anyways, let's head to the road. Since it's rush hour, busy traffic to test out the mics on these. My guess is they're the same as the regular A20s. So there should be enough traffic coming through in the next few seconds to let you see what the sound suppression is like on these. The wind is coming from this direction, by the way. It's a moderate, maybe three to five mile an hour wind. How is noise suppression on these? These have actually wind noise reduction, but I can't tell if it's for the mic or for the audio. Like if, you know, part of noise cancellation, here comes a, some traffic. Testing, testing, one, two, three. My voice is a little bit muffled. The algorithm is it's not the final say, obviously, in noise cancellation. Uh, here comes a line of cars and a van, uh, but it is okay. It's very similar. In fact, if you go back and watch the A20 MV regular, the, I think, my hunch is the internals are the same here. They just recycled it for better or for worse. Uh, one thing that's nice too also if you get a phone call while you're listening to music or if you're just statically using this with noise cancellation, um, it will go into pass-through mode so you can better hear your surroundings while you're talking to the person on the line. It's a nice safety feature with, which I appreciate. Man, those cobwebs are everywhere here. Like, you know, we're just looking at it back here. It's everywhere in the front. Oh my goodness. Oh, by the way, guys. Edifier has been nice enough to offer a giveaway. I've, gonna, I've mentioned this in the description. I mentioned this in my Instagram and Twitter posts. Um, we're giving away one of these to you guys. So check out the description for the details and the rules. And we're going to give away one to you. So all the best. Um, anyways, let's head back to the studio. If you remember, I praised the standard A20NB for sounding like a cross between a Soundcore Q45 and a Sony WH-1000XM4. Basically, a little technical in the upper mids and high ends mixed with some warmth in the bass department where it counts. So it's not a negative when I say that the A20MB Plus sounds nearly identical because I think they both are in, in terms of the driver and the tuning and all that. It's laid back when it comes to listening pleasure with wholesome bass and detailed vocals. Sub bass is almost non-existent for those of you looking for that, but I don't think that seems to be Edifier's brief for the A20 series to begin with. They don't advertise that. This headphone is all about easy, fuss-free listening, really. Now, the revised model does seem to have improved composure at max volume, which is a good thing because these headphones don't go as loud compared to other brands. For example, 100% volume on the A20MB Plus is more like 80% on say a Sonoflow or Q45. Now back to the what does the extra $10 get you topic. It's all really in the audio department and on that front you're getting uh, LDAC and Bluetooth 5.2 so there's some future proofing right there. Um, if you have the regular A20MB, I don't see the need for you to upgrade so there's that. More than enough headphones pass through my hands each day that I forget how light and comfortable the 820 series is. 221 grams, guys, is literally like having an adult hamster on my head. And no doubt the cheap plastics play a role, but when combined with the soft padding and all, it's usually the pair that I grab if I'm planning to spend an extra long time outdoors, like say doing yard work or washing the car or something. So I hope I've gotten the message across that the Plus has LDAC and high res and that the regular A20 that I have in my right hand right here doesn't have LDAC or high res. It sounds straightforward, right? Well, I thought so too, and this is why it's in the neutral territory. I was looking through Amazon just the other day and noticed that the regular A20 has high res. Hold up, <laughs> did I just knock my head and woke up in another dimension? Did Edifier just add high res after the initial batches? Because mine, th even through firmware updates, hasn't had high res so far. And then now you throw in high res and LDAC on the A20 Plus. I don't get it. What is Edifier trying to do? Why are they doing pretty much the same thing and selling two products to like at different price ranges that do nearly identical things? I'm not sure why. Hmm, let's see. Some of my top negatives include the app could really use a customizable EQ at this point. I know they brought four presets and all, but a customizable one would be really nice because the competition has it and all. Uh, the next negative is a really big hang up for me. Each time you activate or deactivate LDAC, and for those of you who own uh, Edifier headphones, you probably know what I'm talking about. The headphone repairs with your device each time. The lady's voice in the background will say pairing and then the phone will bring up the usual Bluetooth pairing request dialog box and all that. 
I'm not sure why edifiers do that. I don't think I've ever seen this kind of behavior with other brands. So edifier, if you have something to say about this, please let us know in the comments. Lastly, I'll let the cheap plastic slide because of the low price and the quality internals, but I can't ignore where some corners were quite literally cut. Like in the hinge right here, all these plastics and the slider, they're so sharp and pointy. They're almost like Ginsu knives. Actually, that could be a positive thing because you can bring this camping, listen to your tunes and then cut up your dinner. So. Well, here are my final thoughts. The WA20 MB Plus gets all the basics right. Sound quality, comfort, long battery life, a solid feature set, all at a price that you'll be happy plunking down for, recession or not. And obviously it's not gonna have the best noise cancellation or mics for phone calls, but at least we now have a newer Bluetooth protocol plus high-res and LDAC certification to boot. And the latter high-res LDAC thing is a 2023 trend, by the way, guys. So pretty much like every Tom, Dick and Harry are doing it. So why not edify, right? And of course, if you already own the older WA20MB, there is really no need to upgrade. If you are shopping at the $80 price range like the Plus, you definitely have to consider the Soundcore Q30 as well. It has the older Bluetooth 5.0, but has everything the Edifier has, plus with arguably better ANC. So with all that said, the Edifier WA20MB Plus gets a gear up score of 7.9, let's move this away, 7.9 out of 10. And this is how I broke it down to get the final score. If you have any questions about how I got there, feel free to comment down below. And by the way, I see that some of you might have forgotten to click subscribe. You've watched this video from beginning to end. So if you like what I do, do it right now. Smack that button. I know you want to see more tech videos like this from me. So smack that button like it's been naughty and thumbs up the video and say hi in the comments as well because it'd be cool to hear from you. Actually, won't. But anyways, thank you so much for being here, guys. I love you all very much. And remember to do something loving and kind for somebody in this world because guess what? The world needs it more than ever, and it starts with you. I love you all very much. Peace out.